Kia ora and welcome back to New Zealand. I've just come down to the beach with a plan to shoot a bit of a sunset shot. We've got some nice blue skies but we've got some nice wispy clouds as well which I'm pretty confident are going to catch as the sun drops down. We've got maybe a two or three hours of sunlight left. Then we're going to get up in the morning and do a dawn shot. I've got a little location down the beach that I've shot numerous times before but I've never actually caught this particular location in fantastic light. So that's the uh, that's the plan for the morning to head down to the, to the boulders, the forecast said it's going to be quite clear, fingers crossed it pans out that way. So in the meantime I'm just going to walk into the village, there's a little walkway, I've done it once before and from memory it's kind of up a bit of a winding hill to an old pioneers graveyard I guess, I drag along with like Q2 as well because uh, for no other reason than it's it's just a gorgeous gorgeous camera to shoot, I just really I just really am enjoying it and I just I, I plan to shoot other cameras, I brought down the Zeiss Mess Iconta today. I was going to slip a roll of Kodak Hectar into the camera and shoot some film, but to be honest with you, I can't do it. I haven't really got the time, I haven't really got the inclination to shoot film at the moment. I'm just all about the uh, the Leica Q2. As sad as it sounds, I'm just I'm just loving it, and that's what photography is all about. It doesn't matter what camera you've got in your hand, as long as you're enjoying yourself. And uh, this particular camera, I'm, I'm loving it. All right, enough said. Let's have a wander down the track and try and make a few photographs down in the village. Here we are at the Puriri Knoll Church or Church Knoll area. There must have been a church here at some point. There's some pretty cool textures, moss, lichen, and some half decent light on there as well at the moment. So uh, let's make a few, let's make a few photographs. We're gonna shoot this next Celtic cross. If it's a Celtic cross, I'm not sure. I think it is. 1.7 on the camera, it looks pretty cool. I'm loving how the 1.7 is rendering the bokeh. I'm going to try and make a shot from this side looking into the sun. I think that's enough from the Prairie Church Settlers Cemetery. I think I'll head back down to the beach. Another 10 minutes or so, the sun will be down. There's a bit of cloud in the sky, which I think is going to catch quite nicely. It's that high wispy sort of uh, high altitude cloud. And fingers crossed, I might get a bit of colour in it. So I'll just walk along the beach a little bit further because that headland over my shoulder there, that's the headland I want to shoot. And like I say, some nice, uh, nice little cloud formations over there. So fingers crossed, it might make a shot. Not going to be much in the way of foreground interest in this shot. Just got a big expanse of beach, a little bit of gentle surf coming in over my shoulder there again. I will probably get a low shot down into the wet sand, try and get a bit of a reflection going on there. Okay, we are on sunset, and unfortunately, there's a little bit of color in the sky out to the east, but where I want the color, 
above the headland it's not happening yet so maybe shortly that colour will spread over that headland that's the plan anyway anybody that's slightly interested in settings ISO 50 F11 half a second and I've got a two second or I'm going to get a two second timer on there just to make sure there's no camera shake now there's a little bit of colour in the sky but it's not much all right it really does need more colour now the cloud above the headland I can bring that out in post processing there is a touch of colour in there but uh, as of yet no glowing reds just a bit of a bit of a milky white now just to the right of the headland we've got some nice colours going on but I don't want it there I want it there well it's trying to give me a little bit of colour and there is a tinge of peach in there so I might just get a shot try that just the waves are coming in I hate losing my cameras in waves uh, bloody hell the light's gone there's going to be no colour in that sky whatsoever where I want it still a little bit of a glow over there but not there bit of a shame but all is not lost because I've got a little plan B I'm going to hang about here for 20 minutes, half an hour and get a blue hour shot I think that will stand out quite nicely while I'm waiting for blue hour to kick off I've just walked along the beach a little bit and give myself a better view a more expansive view of the headland going from probably that Norfolk Pine just on the right hand side there and we get a nice sweep of the headland out to the ocean so we're about 15 minutes after sunset still waiting for a blow hour I've just got a quick shot now because if you look to the right well, when I put a photograph on if you look to the right hand side of the hill there it's got quite a nice golden glow going on post sunset golden glow it looks quite stunning spotlight on the Leica Q2 what an absolute legend of a camera so 30 minutes after sunset and it's starting to look quite mushy grey not sure there's much blue in there but there must be so 15 second exposure f11 iso 100 and the result is yeah i mean there's, there's blue there there's definitely blue there i might give it another 15 20 minutes all right so this is going to be the last shot of the evening i've slipped the lens into manual focus it's getting quite hard to sort of pick out the focus on the screen there on autofocus so we're going to shoot f11 iso 100 30 seconds a 30 second exposure becomes a one minute exposure plus two seconds for oh shit and then the water comes in so that's screwed all right forget that there was a wave coming in unfortunately and that was going to destroy my exposure so uh yeah that one's a dead frame all right let's try another one f11 30 seconds iso 100 once it's finished the 30 second exposure it will do another 30 seconds as a blank frame and that is the noise reduction uh, that's an automatic noise reduction on this camera unfortunately you can't disable it so a 30 second exposure becomes a 60 second exposure plus two seconds for the initial two second timer becomes a 62 second exposure and unfortunately when a wave comes in you've got to grab the camera and get away because uh, soft sand underneath will just wipe that out so the last frame of the evening looks quite blue on there I think it's going to make quite a nice shot and for now we'll call that a draw thanks so much for watching and I'll see you first thing bright and early bushy tailed in the morning hopefully we get a decent bit of a sunrise home sweet home morning just a quick look outside and it's cloudy as all hell there's a little bit of red on the horizon i'm here i'm now awake let's go do it well dawn promised a little bit but it delivered nothing at all sunrise is in about five minutes and to be honest i don't think it's going to break through that bank of cloud on the horizon 
it's quite thick out there we've got a tinge of color in the sky but nothing nothing worth getting out of the van for nothing worth chasing down the beach and, and trying to make a shot i'm quite happy with last night's photographs actually so uh, anything today make do ah, not worth it i don't think so what i'm gonna do is make a bit of breakfast keep an eye on the sky if it does look like it's gonna kick off i'll run out there grab a few shots if it doesn't we'll call it a draw and we'll head back to base upload the photographs from last night and we'll just run through how i edit the photographs in lightroom classic all right let's uh, let's get some breakfast on it's looking pretty murky out there 